been pretty busy this week because I recently discovered that my laptop really desperately needs replacing. I mean, it's getting pretty slow. of shopping online to see if I could find a decent laptop. And that sounds like a perfectly fine and non-troublesome thing to do for most normal people, but not for me, because it's time I made a big confession to you guys. I am a technophobe. <laughs> so when I'm shopping online for a new laptop, I have literally no idea what I'm doing and I have to send links to my much more technologically savvy sister and probably annoy the life out of her in the process. Me, on my own, looking at computer spec? It's not a good situation. I thought a RAM was a male sheep. Why do I need male sheep in my computer? What well, does it matter how many male sheep I have in my computer? And what is a pro retina display? I mean, leave my retinas alone! I'm squeamish about eyes! I have no preference on gigahertz because I don't know what gigahertz do or are. Ugh. Seriously, technology just baffles me. I mean, when I bought my current car, in the showroom they were like, Oh, this model comes with an amazing onboard touchscreen trip computer. And I was like, wow, that's hugely impressive. Oh my god, I'm terrified I'm gonna crash because I won't know how to use it. And when I finally got that car home, the first thing I did was have a look at that computer and panic about it. I want to drive to Tesco, not Captain the Enterprise. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love technology. I have an iPhone, which I would not be without. I have an iPad, so it's probably understandable that my new laptop is gonna be a MacBook Pro. And I couldn't live without the internet. I mean, technology does so many amazing things for us. Where would we be without it? I'm just terrified of it, that's all. It's perfectly normal and fine. For example, this Christmas just gone, I got a snazzy new camera and posh lighting for my YouTube channel, which was amazing! I was over the moon! I opened it and I was like, oh my god! And then I thought, wow, I have no idea how any of this works. I'm gonna break it, I'm gonna break it, I'm gonna break it so hard. Just unpacking the lighting filled me with this huge sense of determination and also fear. Oh wow, this, this is amazing, I mean like, this is, this is so complicated. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Okay, that's, that's the biggest light bulb I've ever seen and I definitely know what I'm doing with it. And my new camera, I mean it has some amazing features, <laughs> literally none of which I know how to use. I mean I took it away with me for New Year so that I could vlog my time at Butlins. And there was one particular day where I said to my friend and her son, Hey, let's do a group photo. Come in, I'll set the camera on self-timer and I'll put it on the tripod, it'll be brilliant. Yeah, except I wasn't sure how to find the self-timer function. I mean, in the process of looking for it, I learned that you could blur the viewfinder really easily without meaning to, but I didn't find the self-timer function. Okay, okay, it'll be like two minutes. I'm just I'm just working out how to do it. Just just hold that pose, you all look amazing. Yeah, yeah, no. No, no, I totally understand you've all got lives. Um you just you just go. I'll uh, uh we'll do this again another day. Yeah, I'll try again another time. <laughs> I'm still not a hundred percent sure where it is. I mean, I just don't know where this comes from. I'm 
fairly intelligent, right? I mean, I don't understand why anything technological just scares the pants off me. I don't know whether it's because, let's face it, I'm not very well off. Perhaps I'm really terrified that if I have something technological, it must therefore be expensive and knowing how clumsy I am, I will probably break it and then not be able to afford to replace it. Yeah, that's kind of worth being terrified about. Or maybe I just think if I break something or if I do something wrong with something technological, it will be the end of the world! I mean, even computer error messages that pop up from time to time, they've been known to make me cry because I'm so scared I've destroyed something. Oh, why do I keep getting an error message? I've broken the entire internet! So it's time I came clean with you all, guys. I, Emma Tofi, can do many things, but I am a technophobe. Seriously, if something goes wrong with anything technological, I'm gonna call someone else and probably cry down the phone. I'm just not good. Even if a hairdryer has too many settings, I'm confused by it. Like, I've been confused by microwaves before now because they've had too many options and I just don't understand. I'm never going to be tech savvy, but I feel better now that I've admitted to my many, 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 many technological failings. So if, like me, you are somebody who loves technology and thinks it's amazing but is terrified of it, please feel free to type me a little message in the comments so that I don't feel so crushingly alone. <sighs> One day the machines are going to take over and I'm going to die first. Okay, I'm gonna go and count down the time until my new laptop arrives and just hope that I can use it. I will talk to you all next week. If you enjoyed this and you would like to see more of it, please feel free to click my floaty head, which today is gonna be this side, I think. And if you would like to watch last week's video and find out whether I am smarter than a 12 year old, and after this video, you're probably thinking, no, that's over there and you can click on it because I do actually know how to do those things. I know. I will talk to you next week. Have a lovely week, everybody. Bye.